One of the most common dreams that a person would have, the most common dreams, if you want to know, if you have a faulty foundation, if you want to know if your ancestors or even your current relatives are involved in witchcraft and it has uh, restructured the foundation of your family, meaning that they're evil seeds that they have planted through their sorcery, then the number one, the number one most common dreams that you would have is that dreams that you are always dreaming that you're back in your 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 home. If you used to live in Cat Island in London or England or wherever, and you always having dreams, you may be here in the Bahamas working, but you're from Ontario, Canada, or you're from Japan, and you're always having dreams where you're back in those former places. They are the number one dreams that you have a faulty foundation. That is God showing you in the dream, your foundation is the problems, is the reason why you have all of these things going on negatively in your life. Whenever you have those dreams, whenever, and you're always taking you back to a former residence, especially overseas, then you, your, there's a, the, the foundation in which you stand in terms of your, I don't care how saved you are. The mere fact that you have in the dreams, even though you save, God showing you, just like with David, them, the rain wasn't coming because there was a covenant in place that was breached. Okay? So the dreams are showing you that the foundation is faulty. Listen to me carefully. You have to go on a fast and begging and pleading to God and repenting for the things that your ancestors did. Father, I don't know the obey they did. Father, I don't know who lies. They had all tie up through witchcraft. Father, I don't know the things they have planted and on the graveyard with my name. Father, I don't know what they did. But Lord, based on this man's teaching, according to your word, I repent of the iniquities, the transgressions, the obey, the voodoo, the witchcraft, but primarily the evil altars in which those covenants were made and the blood sacrifice to seal that agreement father it is that i disannul myself I, I i disassociate myself and i pray that you release me from that evil covenant and to destroy the spiritual and physical altars that has been chatting or navigating the part of our destiny father let your fire rain down from heaven and from heaven and overthrow in the realm of the spirit the evil altars and covenant let the power and the fire of the living god disintegrate the evil agreements the evil covenants whatever pledges whatever allegiance that our grandparents or parents or even us in fraternities sororities freemasonry uh, uh eastern south whatever it is that we made pledges ignorantly too or even knowingly tying our family's destiny shackling them down to a life of defeat shackling down to a life of failure shackling down to a life of divorce and anti-marriage and 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 and, and barrenness and, and and hopelessness and everything that is contrary to the laws of god father we repent we repent, we repent. You said if we confess our sins, if we confess our sins, you are faithful and just to forgive us of them and to, Lord, I confess, we confess. This nation confess, Father, of the wickedness that we've put our hands to in seeking resources, in seeking remedies from other gods. Father God, we repent that we had pushed you to the side. We repent that we rejected you. We repent that we defied and was in breach of your laws. We ask your forgiveness for the things that not only us but our ancestors have plus placed our hands to that is causing this evil to just stride through our generation this day we bring a halt to it this day we shut it down this day we plead the blood of jesus against it Father, whatever mommy, daddy, sister, uncle, brother, whether they went to the tarot card reader, whether they were reading horoscope, whether there were certain things they were asked to place in their shoe, whatever it is that they went to court and they had to wear a certain color red or put somebody's name in their shoe or write it on a rock and throw it, whatever ritual that they would have done that would have tied this family to their nonsense. Father, I am begging you. Father, I am pleading with you. Father, just like how Ahab humbled himself, dropped on his knees, tore his clothes, and fast and asking you to forgive him. Forgive us, Lord. Forgive us for what we have done. Lord, we want to go forward. Lord, we want to prosper. Lord, we, want to, we don't want to see our children suffer. We don't want to see them in the wrong relationship. We don't want to see them divorce after divorce. We don't want to see them dying from AIDS and, and sicknesses and disease. We don't want to see them always at the back of the line. We, we don't want to see the fruit of what the ancestors planted in the past. With that said, Lord, we repent. We ask your forgiveness 
of the sins, the iniquities, the transgressions of our ancestors. We ask you, Father God, to forgive us. Forgive them, Father God. Lord, we are not responsible. It is what they did, but we understand your law. And your law is clear. Your law is clear. Your law is here in, in, in Lamentations 5 and 7. It says, for our ancestors have sinned, but now they are dead. But we, the current generation, are left to bear their iniquity. Father, we thank you for the blood of Jesus Christ. We thank you because Jesus Christ has become a curse for us. We are wise enough to know that the curses aren't automatically moved because we accept Jesus. In fact, we now enforce the verdict at the cross. And the verdict was that Christ became a curse for us. Therefore, Father God, the curses that has been levied upon our lives as a result of the ignorance or even selfishness of our ancestors and they're putting their hand to obey voodoo witchcraft whatever they have planted in the yard or whatever they buried behind the tree all the navel strings upon that plantain tree the banana tree the coconut tree whatever's in that yard that are paraphernalia or point of contacts of sorcery that has held this family down father loose your angels father send them forward with swords of fire to cut the chains to cut the shackles, to cut everything that has held us spiritually in the spiritual realm. Father, we bless you. Father, we praise you. Father, I honor you. Father, I glorify you no longer. Lord, Father, that person right now crying out, that person who this is resonating to, I send the cleansing power of the Lord Jesus Christ upon your life. I pray that the spirit of the Holy Ghost will remove every dark cloud from over your home, over your life, that the Holy Ghost will become an antiseptic and cleanse your entire spiritual life of the evil debris as a result of the things that you or even your ancestors have placed their hand to. Father, I pray, like in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah, when you rain down with your anger, fire and brimstone over those two wicked cities, I am asking you, Father God, for everyone that has heeded to your word today, rain down spiritual fire and brimstone against the evil covenants, the evil altars, the evil agreements that their evil ancestors would have done or even themselves. Father, break them loose and remove the shackles and unhinder them. From that place of failure, that place of depression, that place of anxiety and panic attack. This was never your destiny for them. Father, I pray right now, Lord, that the prosperity that they were once entitled to, Father God, the right frame of mind that they were once entitled to, the progress that they were once entitled to, Father God, every opportunity that has been deprived from them, everything, their value, their worth, whomever or whatever you've called them to be, but at this stage in their lives, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, and never live the, the, the way or the, or the life that you have called them. Father, reinstate them as your servant, Lord. I am begging you. I, am, I beseech you, Father God, to reinstate them. Reinstate them, Lord. Reinstate them for the losses. Re oh, Father God, your word declares, according to Proverbs 11 and 31, it says that the righteous shall, not might, shall be recompensed in the earth. Your word declares in Hebrews chapter 10, Father God, it says that we must, must not cast away our confidence. For it is this confidence that worked for us a great recompense of reward. I pray right now according to Joel 2 and 25, where you, Lord, you, you knew, you knew the losses you, we would have suffered. You knew we would have been delayed. You knew we would have been denied. You knew we would have been hindered and shackled as a result of our evil ancestors. Father God, they have, they have hijacked our destiny. But according to that law, according to that rule, in Joel 2 and 25, you promise us that you will restore unto us the years that the canker worm, the caterpillar, the locust, and the palmer worm has eaten away. Father, I believe you. I believe your laws. I believe your word. Father God, I believe that your word is forever settled in heaven. I believe that there is no law greater than the laws of God. So I stick and plant my feet in the word of the living God. No longer will those listening to me and believe your word. Not Kevin. Believe your word. No longer will they walk in failure. No longer will they walk in poverty. No longer will they walk in sickness. Father, that sickness 
Father God, and that one listening right now, Father God, by way of the airwaves and social media, that sickness whose origin is of witchcraft based on the iniquities of the ancestors, Father, let the witchcraft be dissolved by fire in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you. I pray right now, Lord, for that young man who was out of his head, that young lady who's walking the streets aimlessly because some family member has sacrificed them, has surrendered their destinies to evil altars. But Father God, your son Jesus Christ has become the ultimate sacrifice. And it is him that I call on right now. It is the Lord Jesus Christ. It is the Holy Spirit. It is you, O oh Lord, the Godhead. I am asking you. To intervene break the curse of witchcraft break the curse of sorcery break the oppression that are over your people and by extension their family members as a result of what the ancestors has planted father i pray that you'll expose every evil show these people that what i am telling them is true and begin to expose these obia workers expose these evil people who believe that because of the secrecy of their evil and no one knows about it they feel they're getting away but lord show them that you are god let your word come alive that says that whatever is done in the dark must come to light let it be known let it be seen father god and father god for the years that they have done their evil and hindered the lives of other people. Father God, your word is clear according to uh, Proverbs 11 verse 31. Yes, it says the righteous shall be recompensed and heard. But it also says so much more the wicked and the sinner. Your word declares, Father God, as it relates to our children in Proverbs 11 and 21. It says, though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not go unpunished, but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. I speak, I decree, I declare, I prophesy in the name of Jesus that the curses of witchcraft in workplaces, the curses of witchcraft in the government, the curses of witchcraft in the private sector, the curses of witchcraft in the homes, Father God, whose ever names are buried in the graveyard, whose ever names have been thrown in the ocean in bottles, wherever they have altered or changed or deleted or thrown their destiny. I thank you that you are a God of restoration. And I pray right now that you will restore them, Lord. Supernaturally, they will catch their head. Supernaturally, the scales will move from their eyes. Supernaturally, they will restore with new ambition, new ideas, new vision. Father God, please restore them. Restore them of the losses. Restore them of the shame. Restore them, Father God, of all of the impediments that was placed in their lives. I pray right now, Lord, for the healing that will only not come physically, but spiritually and mentally and emotionally and financially. Father, restore them in the name of Jesus. Father, I bless you. I bless you, Father God. Father God, I bless you. Father God, I give you glory. I give you honor because I know you hear me. I know you hear me, Father God. I am convinced. I'm not trying to convince myself because I have given them your word. And you said in your word, according to Proverbs 11, 9b, it says that through knowledge shall the just be delivered. So, Father, I bless you. Father, I honor you. And Father, I praise you. And Father, I glorify you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen.